Hi, hello everybody, Lego Dude 11 here, and today is a very special video because I know what you may be thinking two things. One, why is the title of this video wrong? Because yesterday I did make a video saying today would be the video where I talked about my favorite Lego categories, and that is true. I didn't say that, that's not a lie. But however, what I'm doing today is a lie. Because I am actually doing my room tour today. Um, uh, surprise, I know, I'm surprised. Um, I was not expecting to make this video. If you see me, I'm in my uh, robe here. And uh, because I am, uh, well, we are self-quarantined right now. And um, the, to this is the period of time. If you're seeing this in the future, you might be wondering, what is self-quarantine? What the heck is that? Well, this is the period of time where... We are in our houses, and we cannot um, basically go places because they're shut down right now because of the coronavirus. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about what we are here for. Let's talk about um, my room tour. So we're going to get to it. It's going to be very exciting. I hope you do enjoy this. But I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my, <coughs> not design, my basement, and which is my family basement, but uh, it's also part of my um, obsession, which is... YouTube and Lego collecting. So we're going to get to that, and I'm going to show you what I'm currently li where I'm currently living, which is my basement, my setup for, as of right now. And then I will, in the next ten or so years, I will make another room tour, showing where I live with my family, etc. Then, if I have a family, I hope so. I hope so. I hope that I hope that works um, out someday. So I'm going to turn the camera around. So, basically right here is my Lego table. Um, so, hang on. Over here. Ignore this. This is stuff from my dad. So, we come down to the basement, and we are entered by this beauty right here. There's my piano that I play occasionally. Um, actually, no, I practice every day. Why am I saying occasionally? I practice every day. Ooh. So, here we go. That's that, and I will show you each of the sets here on the table. There's some empty space here for sets coming out later this year. So if you want to see update on my table, because all the sets here on the table will be um, probably here for the next four years until I move out, because I hope that I can keep all these built by the time I move out and can then put these on display in my new home so that would just be spectacular and beautiful as well so i don't know where to begin here like i i really don't know i mean i guess on the table is where i could start so i'm going to start the front here and talk about this so <coughs> excuse me that that had to be on video because i just had to so i'm sorry i have this cord that dangles but i'm trying to get it out of the way here so what we have up first is we have iron man some of these um are not actual Lego as you can see like these four are not actually Lego um, they are rip-off Lego pieces from um, eBay or just Amazon themselves I got this but this is basically the first though these are the four main Avengers from the Avengers film and then over here I have the four main Avengers from the Age of Ultron film and then I have Star-Lord who looks like he's trying to crouch or like bend over. I don't know why his gun has been replaced with a Nick Fury gun, but oh uh, crap. But um, basically, I made this stand so minifigures can stand on it, and I think it looks actually well done. And we have Star Lord here. We have the main Guardians of the Galaxy from the first film, and then the Guardians of the Galaxy from the second film, including Yondu. And then there's Baby Groot right there. And then over here on this display, I have all the minifigures I got from Comic-Con. So if you recall, I made a video a while back about um, that had all my Comic-Con minifigures. Now, these four right here I were not in the video. Or no, these three right here were not in the video because actually I think I made a video of – or no, I made an Instagram post with these three in there. <coughs> Excuse me. My voice is like – I needed to clear my throat. But anyway, we have Calendar Man here, which which is I, one I wanted, so I got him. These are rip-off, by the way, but these actually look really good. This is Odin, Thor's father. Here's Sabretooth, and now they're falling over. Crud. These stands fall over a lot. Sorry for that brief interruption there. 
So there's Sabretooth, there's Miles Morales Spider-Man with his mask up and a very cool detailed torso. There's Stan Lee, there's Punisher, there's Daredevil, and I have all the Defenders here. Um, there's Luke Cage, Iron Fist, Jessica Jones, and then that's all the Defenders. Ghost Rider, Red Skull, Collect the Collector, Whiplash, Surtur, and Deadpool himself with an actual Deadpool head. Uh, the masked version and unmasked. So that's really cool. Um, I, I have a video showcasing all those, uh, unbagging all of those minifigures and showcasing them. So that was really cool. And all the sets, I'm not going to talk about all the sets. I'm just going to show them off because I already made set reviews of them. So here is the ATST Raider from The Mandalorian, which is looking super, super sauce balls. That's, I, I just love this set, by the way. This was, this was a difficult build for the legs, but I had a, I, I worked on it for a while. Here is Baby, or not Baby, uh, Luke and Yoda Brickhead. There is the minifig accessory pack for Spider-Man Far From Home. Here's Ant-Man and the Wasp set. Yes, I still have that built, surprisingly so, and it's really cool. Here is the Milana, or the Benatar, from Infinity War, and the Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet there. Back there we have the Sanctum Sanctorum. Up front here we have the Y-Wing from Rise of Skywalker with Dio and Zori Bliss and whatnot. Here we have, I'm going back up to the front here, we have the Friends set, the Central Perk set, which this was absolutely beautiful, beautiful. I think this is one of my favorite sets on the table here, um, right along with the Sanctum Sanctorum. And then we have the Hollow Armor there with Igor. We have the, um, what is this called? The Frick, the Quinjet, or the Avenged Jet from Captain Marvel. We have the Avengers compound there with the car. Hulk and Thanos fighting. Now, ignore this. This is something my friend left me. Um, this is from the, the game Clue. There's the die, one of the die and the boomerang from the game Clue. Because we, my, me and my friend were playing Clue a while back. And then he, he accidentally left those on the floor. So I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'll put them on my table. There's General Grievous I bought off of Amazon for a really good deal. He was $15. Um... On sale, he was originally fifty dollars, and then he was on sale for fifteen. Like that was a spectacular deal. Um, here's Craven the Hunter I got from my good friend over um, his Jonathan Pushcar's channel. Um, I, I guess I consider him a friend, a YouTube friend. Here is one of my most beautiful sets I think on the table. This is the Venice Bridge set from Spider-Man: Far From Home. I love this. This is a phenomenal build. Go check out the time lapse. It has some Spider-Man: Far From Home soundtrack in it, which is awesome. Here we have the motorcycle. Motorcycle? <laughs> what is a motorcycle? A motorcycle from Endgame, which is not actually in the Endgame film. Here is the War Machine Buster. Here is the which actually is not in the film either. Here is the Quinjet from Endgame, which is in the film, and this set is spectacular as well. One of my favorite sets as well on the table, and in my collection, to be honest. So those are all the sets on the table. I hope you didn't enjoy that. Um, if you have any suggestions or questions about the sets, let me know in the comments below. So we're going to get over here. So there's my piano. Here are my book collection um, in my basement. Here's the book that I need to start reading because I read like the first two pages of it. This is one of my favorite books I have ever, I think. Um, this is the Marvel Studios Heroes and Villains um, movie making magic. So it talks about everything about Marvel from Captain America, not Captain America, uh, Iron Man all the way to Ant-Man and the Wasp, I want to say. It uh, has, has one page of Captain Marvel, but it doesn't talk anything about that. And then here's my Marvel um, diary. Not diary. Uh, what's that called? Like journal book. I can write anything I want in there. It's not a diary. It's a journal. Anything I want in there, like taking notes and stuff. And then here's my Marvel character encyclopedia. Here's my DC character encyclopedia, which I love. Here's my Lego Star Wars character encyclopedia. Lego Harry Potter. Um... And then here's my Lego Star Wars The Visual and Dictionary updated and expanded. I've never really read anything in this one, but um, it, it looks cool. It has a lot of cool stuff in there. So that's my book stuff right there. Um, here are my bins, which I'll kinda, I will kind of run you through. Sorry, I'm kind of out of breath here. I'll kind of run you through the basics. Um, the one thing I want to mention on this video, I was thinking about selling some Legos, but I want to keep them because they're really meaningful to me. So I'm, I'm, because I, I, I just don't know how to sell any of them because I would have to rebuild the sets and then it's kind of like a complicated process. So I'm thinking of keeping them, but I'll run you through the, through 
what's going on here? So this is pretty much all Marvel stuff. I've I've narrowed I've narrowed it down to all Marvel stuff in here. I know you saw just a piece fly there right now. So this is these bins are actually both Marvel. I just realized this bin and this bin because I had to separate it into two bins. This is DC uh, sets right here, as well as some Marvel or not Marvel, some um, Star Wars, and I think the one Ultra Agents that I have, as well as uh, a couple Mixels. Yes, I do have Mixel sets, by the way. And here is Star Wars, as well as Mixels and Chima. As you can see, there's a Chima minifigure here, which that's my one of my least favorite uh, se uh, series or categories, which I'll talk to you about in tomorrow's video. Here is Creator and uh, Lego Movie, and I think just, like, this is like Lego Creator, Lego other stuff. Yeah, Lego Movie and other stuff. Oh, and Lego City. Lego City as well. This is Minecraft. This is all Minecraft in here. As you can see, there's an Ender Portal. There's my zombie and stuff. And there's a ghast right there. And there's Alex peeking out. And here... Ugh, sorry, I had to get down real well. And here is my one Hobbit set. Um, I guess one Star Wars set because you can see the Jedi Interceptor thing. And right there... Um, my one Ultra Agent set, um, Spongebob, if I didn't already say that already, my one Hobbit set, and some, some Lego Creator in this bin as well, so, yeah, that's what's in there. I think this is my most filled bin. Well, this is filled pretty heavily as well. This is all stuff from, like, classic Lego bricks and stuff in there, so that's what I have there. This is my Lego Dimension stuff, as you can see, Doctor Who. Back to the Future, Wizard of Oz, D -d -d Niffler, Sonic the Hedgehog, so yeah. And then in here is my non-Lego stuff. So this is where they have like minions or I guess like this football guy, Andy Dalton, um, weird Doctor Who stuff, weird Harry Potter stuff. So basically not stuff that you've seen, like my non-Lego stuff. So anywho, that's that. Um, here is my... Bin of minifigures, which I might take you through a video of this later, but this is my bin of minifigures that I want to someday have a minifig wall of. So these are all my ones that I would want on a minifig wall. So my dreams are coming true. Someday I'm going to have a minifig wall and a minifig studio, or not minifig, a minifig wall and like a YouTube studio. So that's going to be awesome. Here In this bin here, I have all my instruction manuals. So I've kept them every single one. There they are. Here's my stuffed penguin. There's my thing I need to replace. Here's my stand that I'm not using at the moment because I glued this down because this broke. I'm planning to get a new one for my birthday that's in May, so happy birthday me. Um, but I'll get one of those in May. There's my cup I used for Super Jumper videos. Here's my plug. That's probably not important. But uh, here's all my... These are some more of the um, instruction manuals. There's Planet Naboo from the Planet Naboo set. And then here are all my comic books I've kept from the Lego Marvel sets and Lego DC sets as well. Here are some of the Lego uh, minifigure series CMS in, uh, instruction booklets or uh, collection manuals. So that's cool. I've kept them all. And I kind of want to keep them all because they're kind of important for other, for just in general. So that's kind of it. Um, here we go. Here's my, here's my Joker collection kind of right there. Here's my um, background for recording videos. There's my Disney Infinity. There's Lego Dimensions. And there's my... TV, there's my TV that I record my videos on, and also, yeah, play my PlayStation on. Here's my PS4 Pro right here. My PS4 Sony, I think this is a PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm pretty sure it is. It's a PlayStation 4 Pro. And then, there's my Echo Dot in the basement. And I'll take you through, and then here is my Doctor Who light switch. Here's my, headfo here's my headphones. There are my old headphones right there, or my new ones that I use. There's some more Lego sets in here that I'm going to take. Let me turn on the light. Oh, yeah, the light is on. Um, there's some more Lego sets in there. As you can see, there's Wakanda Battle. There's the Thor Ragnarok thing. There's the Shocker's Van. Here are my PlayStation controllers. So, yeah, I'm going to keep those for, for when I move out as well. So, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to hit that like button. Oh, and one more thing. There's my couch that I sit in to record my videos, if you have not seen it in other videos. That is it, and I'm out of breath. Hope you did enjoy this room tour video. Leave a like, 
leave a like. I hope you did enjoy. I hope I get a lot of views on this. If you did enjoy the room tour, finally, um, please enjoy. Or please leave a like. Um, if you're excited about seeing a room tour, here it is. You've seen it. Um, oh, one more thing I almost forgot. Here are my posters I have on the wall. I don't want to take these three down until I move out. I want to leave these up forever. My Venom one, which I liked Venom. It was, it was a good film. Um, here's my Doctor Lego Doctor Strange, which I like that poster. It came in a Lego magazine. And here's my Captain Marvel poster I got from um, a Lego or a robot co uh, robotics competition. And here's my Lego Dimensions poster right there. So, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the room tour, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Boba Fidget and Master. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, subscribe to the family, Lego Duel 11. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep calm and play Lego. See you guys next time. Bye. Peace.